Hi guys, welcome to Bubba Bedtime Stories. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. Today, we're going to be reading a story called Snow White. Once there was a queen who longed for a daughter. As she sat sewing by her window one winter's day, she pricked her finger on the needle. As blood fell from her finger, she thought, I wish I had a daughter with lips as red as blood, hair as black as e- ebony wood, and skin as white as the snow outside. Before long, the queen gave birth to a baby girl with blood red lips, ebony hair, and skin as white as snow. She called her Snow White. Sadly, the queen died, and the king married again. His new wife was beautiful, but vain. She had a magic mirror, and every day she looked into it and asked, Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And every day the mirror replied, You, O oh queen, are the fairest of them all. But Snow White became more and more beautiful every day. One morning, when the queen asked the mirror who was the fairest, the mirror replied, You, O oh queen, are fair and it's true, but young Snow White is fairer than you. Furious, the queen told her huntsman, Take Snow White into the forest and kill her. The huntsman led Snow White deep into the forest, but could not bear to hurt her. Run far away from here, he said. As darkness fell, Snow White came upon a little cottage. She knocked softly on the door, but there's no answer, so she let herself in. Inside, Snow White found a table and seven tiny chairs. Upstairs, there were seven little beds. Snow White lay down on the seventh bed and fell fast asleep. She awoke to find seven little men staring at her in amazement. Who are you? she asked. We are the seven dwarfs who live here, said one dwarf. Who are you? I am Snow White. She replied, and she told them her sad story. You can stay with us, said the eldest dwarfs kindly. Every day, the seven dwarfs went to work while Snow White cooked and cleaned the cottage. Don't open the door to anyone, they told her, worried the wicked queen might find her. Meanwhile, when the wicked queen asked her mirror once more who was the fairest that day, it replied, You, O queen, are the fair. It's true. But Snow White is still fairer than you. Deep in the forest with seven little men, Snow White is living in a cozy den. The queen was furious and vowed to kill Snow White herself. So she added poison to a juicy apple, then sent off to to the forest, disguised as a peddler woman. Try my juicy apples, she called out, knocking on the door of the seven dwarfs' cottage. Snow White remembered the dwarfs' warning, so she just opened the window to take a look. When the queen offered Snow White an apple, she took a big bite. The poison piece got stuck in her throat, and she fell to the ground. When the seven dwarfs returned, they were heartbroken to find their beloved Snow White dead. They couldn't bear to bury her, so they put her in a glass coffin and placed it in the forest, where they took turns watching over her. One day, a prince rode by and saw Snow White. The dwarfs told him her sad story. Please let me take her away, begged the prince. George could see he loved Snow White. They agreed to let her go. As the prince's servants lifted the coffin, one of them stumbled, jolting the poisoned apple from Snow White's throat, and she came back to life. When Snow White saw the handsome prince, 
she fell deeply in love with him. They soon married and lived happily ever after with the dwarves. So I hope you enjoyed the story, guys. Bye bye. Please like and subscribe for more fun videos. Come visit our channel for more epic videos.